DVT is known as deep vein thrombosis, and it's a blood clot that forms in the deep veins of the leg, in the pelvis, in the arms. It's most commonly known as a blood clot or a phlebitis. A deep vein thrombosis is the medical name, but these other names are often used. Approximately a million people a year will develop DVT, of which 300,000 people may die. It occurs when the liquid blood changes over to a solid. Now, why would that happen? Well, it would happen if somebody's at bed rest and the blood flow slows down in the legs. It could also happen if somebody has a big operation and that alters the blood flow and stresses the body, which can cause a blood clot. And of course, cancer is a big factor as are hormones or even a long flight. DVT is a problem because once it occurs, it may change your life because of the fact that you may not be able to participate in certain activities, you may have limited physical capabilities, or you may have to take anticoagulants for the rest of your life. Some of the symptoms include leg pain and swelling, chest pain, shortness of breath, even a feeling of anxiety can sometimes be a symptom of blood clots. The single most important risk factor of them all is a history of DVT or a family history in first degree relatives. The Caprini score is a step ahead of the normal risk factor classification where you list the number of risk factors a patient has and then uh, calculate the likelihood of them developing a blood clot. The score takes each factor and what the probability of that factor is to cause a blood clot and then by adding together the number of factors and the weight of each factor, you get a score. And the bottom line, the punchline here is that the use of this score enables one to more accurately predict whether or not a person will get a blood clot if they're put in a dangerous situation. If you know the Caprini score, you may save your life. And the reason is that it's the single most reliably best tested score to evaluate your chance of developing a blood clot should you have an operation, a cancer, a serious injury with fractures, or take a long flight. That tool should be shown to their doctor. And in addition to that, they should ask their doctor as a result of their score, what is the doctor going to do to prevent a blood clot should they undergo an operative procedure or be involved in a serious illness, including cancer? A healthy lifestyle is, is number one. The second thing is, first of all, to know what your score is. And in certain cases, that mean, mean that you may have to be fitted for stockings to control leg swelling and, of course, uh, stopping smoking, losing weight, those types of things are important uh, to lower your overall risk. And also, for example, not taking unnecessary hormone replacements or estrogen therapy. Usually these are treated with a combination of injectable anticoagulants for the first few days and then oral anticoagulants, Coumadin for three to six months and in some cases life. This varies with the individual, but once you have a history of a DVT, you're always at increased risk for a DVT. Some are at more risk than others, depending on the extent of their blood clot, depending on certain blood tests that are done with time, and depending on their family history. Putting these all together in a package by an appropriate specialist, one can get an accurate picture of what their likelihood is to have an ongoing problem for the rest of their life. The patient should know their Caprini score, they should share it with their friends and family and what it means. They should discuss it with their family doctor or healthcare provider. And finally, before they have an operative procedure, they should quiz their operating surgeon as to what their score is and what the surgeon is going to do to prevent blood clots in their particular case. Patients can go to the Illinois State Medical Society website where the tool can be downloaded and the patients can also get more information.